All right, well, hello there. Uh, technically, it is midnight, so it is, um, oops, oops, I lost it. Uh, it is Sunday, October 29th. <laughs> I know. And we wrapped up. Kathy, Picasso Cat, and I have wrapped up the Saturday sale, uh, Saturday night sale. So I am starting the vlog here um, at midnight on Sunday. And uh, we are going to talk about what sold, what's still available from the Saturday night sale. Also, you'll want to keep watching after I talk about that for the Estate Sale Hall Part 2 that is going to be coming up right after um, I talk about the sale. Uh, so it's always great hanging out with Kathy. She is she is great. Uh, I said that already. Okay, I'm getting a little tired, <laughs> even though it is just the start of the vlog. Um, but no, Kathy, Kathy is awesome. And... Um, so I just want to put it out there and I'm going to try to remember, oh, I never do remember, when I post this, I'm going to try to remember to put a link to her channel in the uh, description below. Um, she, her birthday is in December and she is trying to get to a thousand subscribers uh, before her birthday um, I don't remember the date though. So apologies to Kathy. Let's just do it December 1st. Let's just get it. Let's just get it. December 1st. There's Joe having some snacks. Um, so, uh, yeah. So put that on your to-do list. Check, make sure you are subscribed to Kathy. And if you know anyone out there or have other accounts have other family members with accounts who would like to subscribe to Kathy's channel. Um, yeah, please, please ask them to do so. And let's do our best to get Kathy to a thousand before her birthday in December. Um, all right. Also want to, um, also want to say, uh, we did not get to a hundred people in the chat, but Every one of my live sales that we get to a hundred people in the chat, um, I will be doing a giveaway. So again, spread the word out. If it's the Saturday night sale, if it's the uh, lunchtime sale at 1130 Eastern, if it's the Monday night sale, the Wednesday afternoon sale, the Friday night sale, any of those sales, all of those sales, if we get to a hundred people in the chat, I will be doing a giveaway. Also, don't forget, leave a comment on my uh, video, leave a comment on a live sale, leave a comment on a short, and you will get entered into the giveaway that I do on Friday nights. Uh, there's one for the, the videos, one giveaway for the lives and one giveaway for the shorts. Um, all right, so I think those are all the announcements I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> um, so uh, for the Saturday sale, we bring 20 items. Um, I sold five of the 20 items. Um, so you are gonna get another opportunity to see what is still available. Uh, but first, I'm going to talk about the items that sold. So let me... Uh, so I sold some antique postcards, two lots of nine antique postcards, uh, this lovely light-up star, multi-point star, the lamp with the jazz animals. So we've got a dog... We've got the, a dog saxophone player, and we've got a cat. Now, this can be a lamp, or you can put like a nightlight bulb in here and use it that way. Um, it is really fun. It's made out of metal. It's really nice. Uh, this beautiful Nippon hand-painted bowl, that is a lovely piece. Um, all right, so those are the five items that sold. So let's talk about the items that are still 
available. Okay, so we are going to start, we'll start with the jewelry. So this is kind of a crafter's pack. There are pieces that are missing a stone. Um, Joe, no, 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 thank you. Joe's trying to climb up on top of everything and... No, this is not the time to do that. Um, so yeah, so this is a crafter's lot. Over two pounds of jewelry here. That is $12. This one, uh, this is more of a jewelry maker's lot. So there are some loose beads. There are some rhinestones, some other um, pieces for making jewelry. This is about one pound, 12 ounces. Uh, that one is $12. Uh, we have the set of three Snow Maiden. These are by, oops, let me flip this over. Uh, the Snow Maiden Russian Fairy Tale Heinrich, uh, Germany, Villeroy, and Bach. There is one plate. Here is the second plate. And here is the third plate. Um, all three of those, $15. Uh, we've got this beautiful beaded handbag. It is absolutely lovely. Um, it does not have a, a maker that I could find on the inside. This is beautiful vintage. It does have a pocket right there. Uh, that one is $20. And then I've got, this is a little light up uh, bell. It has clear bulbs, uh, colored bulbs, and then a flasher. Uh, this cord is probably from the 80s. Um, it does say Taiwan on it. Uh, this is $18 for the light up bell. I have this beautiful bowl. It doesn't have a country of origin, probably Germany, Bavaria. This one has a thick gold band around it. Beautiful flowers, nine inch bowl, and that is $12. Uh, a flow blue plate. This is by Pearl, oops, it's upside down, Pearl Pottery out of England. This is probably from the 1920s. It is flow blue with gold. Really beautiful. That is $15. The pottery orb. This is Mexican pottery with this wonderful man in the moon. Um, the rest of the design is so cool. I'm trying to get this around because there is an artist's signature ah, somewhere on here, right here. And it does say A. Ortiz, Mexico. Um, it's about six inches, six and a half inches. Now I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good size. It's going to come with the stand and that is $30. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one next. Um, a second pink rose bowl with a thinner gold band. More roses. Uh, this has the thick band. That has the thin band. That is also $12, and it's also 9 inches. A charger plate. That is from Bavaria. It's about 10 and a half inches. It's got a beautiful gold design and the florals. That is also $12. Um, we've got the uranium glass dish five section server. That is 12 by 11 inches. It is really big and really thick. Uh, it is $40 and it does glow really nicely. Uh, this is an antique vase. It has the most amazing handles on it. That is so cool. It's white on the inside and green on the outside. It is about nine and a half, I think, inches tall. 
This is gorgeous. Um, that is $125. Uh, this vase is a um, controlled bubble base vase. It's a very smoky color. Ooh, um, nice and smooth bottom. Uh, this bud vase is $12. And then I have Christmas. So this is a vintage skirt. It is the 12 days of Christmas. It is pretty. Pretty awesome. I'll show some more. There we go. The five golden rings. We've got the swans and the geese. Yeah, this is great. And up here it says the 12 days of Christmas. It's a felt um, skirt. That is $20 and it is a 36 inch um, circle. Uh, this skirt right here is a 50 inch and it has red panels, green panels, and these Santas. This is homemade, um, and it has a beautiful edging on the on the top around the smaller circle and around the edge. Uh, that one is 50 inches, and that is also $20. Um, all right, so that is everything that is still available from the sale. So again, that is going to wrap things up. Um, I am spending as much time as possible packing and invoicing um, on Sunday. So I have already pre-recorded the uh, estate sale part two. So um, yeah, so enjoy. And um, I think I mentioned again, those items will start becoming available on the Monday sales. So um, I hope to see you there. And um, yeah, and enjoy haul part two. If you missed part one, check out yesterday's vlog. All right, well, welcome to part two of the estate sale haul. Uh, so this is a haul, two different hauls from last weekend and the weekend before. And I'm, yes, just getting to unpacking it and trying to make uh, some organizational, I don't know, something, <laughs> so, so make, it, make it make sense somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but um, I, you saw the first part, and if you didn't see the first part of the estate sale haul, that was in yesterday's vlog. Um, but today we are going through the rest of it. And yeah, I think guesstimating wise, that was probably a quarter of it. And then we've got, we've got more. Um, but I'm going to start with a big box. So let me, I'm going to see if I want to, if I want to turn this or not. This is a super fun old Hickory Farms box. Look at that. In the shape of a barn, an old Hickory Farms box. This is really cool just on its own. It does not, I don't think it says any kind of year or anything on this. Uh, no. But what's inside of here? Well, there's, let's see, there's a CD celebrating Sinatra and Basie. Okay, Joey Jewel is Jim, no, J Jerry, Joey Jewel, Jim Curls, Swing Session, Big Band. All right. Um, we've got a whole bunch of ephemera in here. So there are some photos. Let me clear off this little spot here. What do we got? Photos. Oh, Delta. The Sailor's Ball from 1953. Oh, no photo inside. This must have been the photo that was inside. But that is, that's some cool graphics. 1953. Oh, these are sealed. 
Okay, sealed shut, but we've got some, let's see, a bonus book, Let's Dine Out, Let's Dine Out, and application, Let's Dine Out membership. Okay, so that's all on about Let's Dine Out. Uh, we've got Kenmore and a record from Kenmore with the appliance guy on it. Well, that's different. Montana Historical Society and some postcards from the Grotto in Portland, Oregon. This is Mirror with Miss Anne. Ooh, Anne Baxter, Anne Baxter. Oh, there she is. Charles Marion Russell, the Historical Society of Montana. So a brochure, art, looks like art brochure. <coughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Ladybug Designs, Pablo Picasso. Ooh, that is like a an angry matador, but it is a... Um, is that an embroidery? A counted cross stitch. Okay. A matador and bowl. We've got McCall pattern transfers. Oh, the little hearts. Pattern transfer of hearts. That oh, it looks in good shape, like it hasn't been opened. Patty Page for demonstration use only. Not for sale. Patty Page. Uh, looks like we've got some more postcards here and some other brochure. Oh, some more. Oh, Carl, Charles M. Russell. Okay, so that goes with the book that I had yesterday. And some postcards. Oh, we've got these handsome fellas. Let's see. Let's get this out of the plastic because that's just going to glare. But this looks like an autograph picture of these guys. There's an autograph. Ooh, where's my camera? Autograph there and an autograph on the box. No, this is calcium wafers and some kind of pills. Ooh. Photograph in Spokane. That is Aaron to Helen from, I don't know, I'll, I'll do my best to try to figure out who these Fellas are um, cradle time games to entertain the mother to be and friends. So that looks like a little book. No, it looks like it's in a pattern. Okay. I got to see what this is. If I can get it out. Yeah, it really it looks like it's a pattern, but, um, oh, but it's like some games in here. Okay. Party games for the mother to be. Interesting. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a picture of Glenn Campbell. All right, there. And let's see, this is a ship. The British Cruise Line. Okay. Oh, menus. Must be, uh, must be menus in here from a cruise. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, 1973. And there's oh, a little dog. So there, it looks like there's a couple of them in here. Yeah, all from 73. Nice graphics on there. Oh, we've got a From Fred, 1945. And oh, it's stuck on the top with the tape. 
to to Beverly from Fred, 1945. The Mazzola Salad Bowl. That looks like a little recipe book. No idea. And maybe another book here. Clorox. <laughs> oh my gosh. Clorox Bottle Craft. Look at that. They made things you can make out of a Clorox bottle. Well, I think I have seen it all. Um, some cards. Looks like some greeting cards down here on the bottom. Okay, so I think that is everything in here. Um, so I'm going to put everything back and then I will be back. Okay, so next let's talk about a couple of bigger items here. This is a beautiful box. Is that? It's made, it does look like it's made out of wood. It just has a, um, like a coating and paint or something on it, but it does seem like it's made out of wood. It has hinges right here. And then this beautiful flower on the top. Does look like there is maybe a slight chip right here, but a really big box. There is the bottom. And then a bamboo tray. I, we'll see. We'll see, it's got Morris on the back. Um, that's kind of big for shipping, but I will see. <laughs> I should say that. Wait till you see one piece I've got. It's a big one. Um, okay, then we've got um, this beautiful hummingbird. Look at the, the beautiful design on this one. Gorgeous hummingbird design. And that feels like... Hmm... I don't know, that kind of feels like porcelain. Oh, there's a little ladybug right there. Uh, let's see, let's put that right there. Okay, um, actually let's do let's do this stuff. So I've got a pair of candle holders, wood. Um, unfortunately, there is a bit of wear on the bottom. Um, but they could probably be refinished. They are really nice wood and really tall too. Uh, then let's see, we've got a figurine here and this says Juniper's, oh, maybe it's Father Juniper's Sarah, S-E-R-R-A. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can find out some information, a ceramic piece. And we've got a metal something candle holder maybe that's a metal candle holder yeah it kind of does line up but interesting and then this one uh this one is just too fun i don't even remember these little things but they are from hallmark and it is the road rovers so I've got three of them. I have the dump, the dump truck, the, what is that? The chocolate moose, chocolate mouse, and the fuzzmobile. I've got those three, but the graphics on here are so fun. There's that one. I don't remember these fun pieces at all, but how cute are they? So I've got those three. Oh, I wish there were more, but unfortunately there were just those three. Ooh, would have been fun to have the whole set of those. Um, okay, here's something that is a set, a beautiful ceramic Japanese style teapot. Um, it does have a signature on the bottom. Beautiful pottery. And then it comes with 
of five cups. Now, typically with Japanese, I know we we tend to have sets of even numbers. In Japan, it is not uncommon to have a set of five or three and not a set of four or six. So there are five of these unglazed on the very bottom and then these are beautifully glazed. So it is a set of five, um, but that is a really beautiful set. Um, this is also a beautiful set. So we have an underplate, a sugar, and a creamer. Beautiful floral design with the green. It doesn't really give a lot of clues on the bottom about who made it. Uh, but again, I'll do a little investigating and see if I can figure that out. Uh, this is a really pretty teacup. Um, great colors for fall. And this is English Bone China made in Staffordshire and it's by English Castle. But lovely design on that one. A pair of kind of mid-century modern minimalist style candle holders. Uh, very Swedish looking. Let's see what it says on the bottom here. Denmark. Alta, Alta something Denmark. So yeah, very, very minimalist looking. Um, ha <laughs> this, this woven basket and inside the basket was some vintage ribbon, really pretty yellow or pink lace. And then this just happens to have kind of a pinkish design to it. But that was kind of fun finding just some random ribbon. Uh, this is a Shelly set. Um, very exciting. There is a chip, and I'll show you the chip, but there it is. Shelly of England. Beautiful. That's a little plate. Here is the saucer. And then the teacup right on the back here there is a little chip right back there. But I almost want to say, who cares? Because that's not where you would be drinking from anyway. So super cool having a Shelly set. Uh, this is a really fun paperweight. It just has an image on the bottom, but it is a little owl. Very 70s looking with that. Um, and then I've got a vintage teddy bear. Yeah, he's got a little stain right there and a little stain back here. I, I might see if my um, stuffed animal cleaner will get hit it out. His ear is partially coming off also, but isn't he just a fun vintage teddy bear? see if I can get him over there. Um, okay, let's do... Ooh, here. I know I've got kind of a couple little sets going on here. So let's pull these over and then... Uh, so this is a really lovely little serving plate and it has the design that is... It's pressed into it. It's not etched. It is a pressed design. Let's see, let's put that there. Uh, then let's do some, the mini baskets. So I have these little mini baskets. You can see that one does look like it is sun faded a little bit, but it is a really cute collection of these tiny little baskets. And that one's even smaller with little flowers in it. Um, oh, and a little bit of mini pottery also. That one has kind of a Aztec design on it, doesn't it? That's cool. And then this one with the little handle. 
Uh, this looks like a stand for an egg, but I did not see an egg. So just a stand. Um, another lidded basket. And this is, I had an animal in this bead style, um, this Mexican bead style. I'll have to look up uh, what the name is again, but that is beautiful. That's all done with beads. That is so pretty. And some more little, oh, little baskets and little hats. So we've got this pretty colorful one, little mini basket. There's this one. Let me put that back in there. And then there are four of these little hats. So that is a really fun little, little set there. Um, all right, then we'll switch over. We'll go to Japan next. Uh, this just says made in Japan. It is a sugar that does not have a lid. But it's got a great design on it. Um, now, these are cups and saucers. However, I do not think any of these cups and saucers are actual sets. Um, but they are cool together. <laughs> so I will show you the cups and I'll show you the saucers, but I don't really think any of these are a set other than they are very similar style. But like the design on the saucers are very intricate designs. The designs on the cups, not quite as intricate. Um, so here is the next cup, but they are beautiful. And again, they look lovely displayed together. Um, and then here is the saucer and you can see the saucer is just a little more of an intricate design. And then here is the third one. So this one, I know this, place has all of these little label things on them. Uh, flowers on the outside and then this beautiful design on the inside. Now this one is the only cup that really seems to be on the same intricate level as the saucers, but I don't see that any of them are like a close enough match. But again, displayed together, they are such a beautiful collection. I mean, this really is a lovely collection. It just doesn't seem like the saucers and cups are like true sets. And then I have this beautiful plate. And this part kind of jumped out at me. But when I look at it, it's not a chip. It's just... It must have happened right right before they glazed and they just glazed right over it because you can see it is still blue right there. So like a little piece broke off and they just painted it and glazed it and just went with it. So again, fits in very nicely with that style. Just doesn't seem to be an exact match to any of them specifically. Um, but still an absolutely beautiful set. And um, here, I'm going to move this stuff and I will be right back. Okay, now I have a teacup with no saucer and it does have a crack in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The crack is right. Oh yeah, there you go. The crack is right there. Now, I don't know if anybody does any crafting with teacups um, but let me know if you do any crafting and possibly can use that now this one does not have a crack in it it just doesn't have a saucer but it is a really cute little teacup um, now I have a chintz 
teacup and saucer set. This one does have a crack in it. It has a crack on the rim and a crack. So again, if someone does any crafting, um, let me know. And then this one is a good set and it's really cute. This is going to look so nice on display at springtime. Um, but again, getting things in lots, sometimes, you know, you get, you get that kind of stuff in the lot. Um, okay. So then I have this beautiful little dresser jar. Yes, this is, um, uh, custard glass and it does glow. Let me see if with my lights on, let me see if you'll be able, oh yeah, that's, that's nice and old enough that you can see that that glows like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so yeah, that's a fun piece. Uh, yeah, that's a beauty. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna put that over there. Then I have this one. Um, It has some markings on the bottom. I'm gonna see if I can figure out who made this. It is like a celluloid type plastic, um, but beautifully hand painted on top. And yes, I need to get that off since it is hand painted on top. Let's get at least get that off the paint there. All right, so that is, that is still good. And then, oh. I've got this, this is an interesting little jar. This is not, that is zero help in getting that open. Let me tell you, no help at all. Uh, but a really cute little, maybe a biscuit jar. Kitchen craft. I think it says oven safe. So there you go. Cute little um, jar with flowers. And then another kind of celluloid style um, vanity set. Uh, now the lid on here doesn't fit great and it does have a little chip there, but it is cool looking. It says uh, Carbonite, Los Angeles, USA. And then these, you push the, push the top and then the bottom opens up on these and it says, does it say anything? It just says set with box. So yeah, I'll do some looking up. This one also says a carbonite, but that is a really fun little set. Uh, then I've got some Jim Shore cats. I mean, how, how can you say no to Jim Shore cats? Look at that. That one's all ready for Christmas. And let me see. Santa Claus. Okay, no surprise there. 2007. Jim Shore. And then this little one. Look how cute he is. This one. There's his back. <coughs> uh, 2006. From Hartwood Creek. So there is that. Um, okay, then I've got some more ephemera type stuff. Now, stay with me because I do have some beautiful pottery and glass coming up. Uh, but this one, unfortunately, this, this would have been a really cool frame, but it's missing some parts. I think this, these center sections and one corner but kind of a tramp art style frame. Now this is a very old frame and it is a law diploma. It's a Broadwater County, Montana for Irma. I love it. Irma has completed the course of study prescribed by law for the common schools of Montana and she got a diploma and that was 19. Now it looks like they wrote over, so I'm not sure. I think they changed the two to a three. I think it's 1931. 
but it was high school, a high school diploma prescribed by, so yeah, a high school diploma from 19, I think 31. I know it's going to be backwards and you're not going to be able to really see that, but isn't that cool? Good job, Irma. Okay, then I've got this awesome photo that is color in a cute little frame. Um, James and, oh gosh, Mar I guess it's Marilyn. I think it's Marilyn. James and Marilyn. I don't know who James is. I haven't come across anything referencing James and Marilyn, but I'm going to keep my eye out for them. Uh, then we have a certificate of baptism. And this is it dated 1919 for, oh, Edward Wesley Burr. No. The child of Walter Burr. And his wife, Florence. Okay. Hold, hold on one second. All right. So this is the photo I showed yesterday. This is Walter, Walter and Mary Burr. This is from 1889. Um, so that's Walter Burr. This is a baptismal certificate, 1919 for his son, Edward. How about that? Now, yep, the glass does have a crack in it. It's gonna need a new frame, but how cool is that? So yeah, so that is, um, that is his son. So look at that awesome connection. All right, so I'm gonna pull this over and we'll see what other things we have. Uh, the Community Chorus Book. This one looks like it was Alter, Mrs. Walter Burr. Piano Pieces, The Whole World Plays. So it looks like all the great composers, but lots of sheet music. Looks like it was well used. So somebody, maybe Mrs. Walter Burr, um, was a pianist. Let's see, copyright 1915 on that one. Oh, Halloween. Let's see, this is elementary piano solos. Happy Halloween, unfortunately. Yes, I know, I'm just getting to this, but Halloween is good all year round. Um, oh gosh, I don't see a date on this. 1983, and <laughs> the witch is dancing. The waiting pumpkin, so it does look like Parade of the Pumpkin Cookies. Woo! So if you want to see more of this or see when these items, um, especially the ephemera items go on sale, uh, join me on Friday nights. Yep, that's when I sell my ephemera. So Friday nights um, during the Sue Spezio sh show, 7 p.m. So this looks like a whole bunch of Elvis. Yep, yesterday I did mention I had some Elvis. So yeah, that is a whole bunch of Elvis sheet music. That is awesome. And, um, oops, some more sheet music. That one, oh, these ones that are not quite, uh, not quite acceptable today. I, um, whew, I don't know quite what to do with those. So for now, we're just gonna put those aside. Uh, Moon River, Audrey Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, let's see, Summary of the War and Its Consequences. This is From Invasion of Poland to the Fall of Berlin, um, the Second World War. So it looks like we've got lots of um, pictures and stories in here.
And then um, this is, I think the next item, I have a feeling this might be the gentleman who put it together, but I don't know his name. Oh, here we go. Donald Todd, retired officer. And it does have his information. That was in 1973, it's dated, 1973. And I wonder if he put this together. So this is 19, let me get it in here, 1955 to 1965. And that is a scrapbook. And again, we'll be going through this a little more closely. Um, oh, somebody who was an Elvis fan. Um, a little more closely during the Friday night sales, but um, that's one of the reasons why I like picking up these fun ephemera pieces because we do get to take a, a little deeper dive into them during uh, the Friday sale. So, um, so yeah, this is interesting. We'll see what um, we'll see what items in here were. Um, deemed important enough to put in a scrapbook. All right, so um, I'm gonna move some things around again and I will be right back. All right, I have got some more ephemera, um, including these, a whole envelope full of these camel cash. I don't know, there is an entire envelope full of them. So maybe that's something that someone can use for their ephemera projects. I don't know. I don't know. We will find out. And then I've got a pin the tail on the donkey kit. I haven't looked in here to see. Oh, there's a few tails in there, but I don't think that there's 24 tails in there. But there is a donkey. So again, that could be fun for someone to use for crafting. So a vintage pin the tail, that was by Whitman, pin the tail on the donkey. Um, all right, so let's talk Elvis. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Elvis in here. This is a magazine, all Elvis. This came out in 2013. Then we've got the Seattle. I, I have this or I've seen this. No, I've had this. I don't know if I still have it. Uh, but that included the 1962 World's Fair, where Elvis did make a movie in Seattle. Yep. Um, oh, I don't know. That's just, uh, we got some crazy brochures. Oh, Graceland. That looks like somebody who maybe has been to Graceland, or it's a catalog. Catalog of Graceland stuff you can get, I guess. The, um, the stamp. That was 1993. Oh, and some other items. Photo play. Do you have a date? August 1978. Elvis. Reminisce. Reminisce. Um, oh, this was 2014 with Elvis, and it looks like some other stuff. Uh, 25 years later, Elvis Remembered by Life Magazine, Elvis International, Country America. And let's see, that says March, oh, 1994 on that one. A tribute to Elvis. That one I don't see a year. Elvis yesterday, today. Uh, remembering the King. This one looks fairly, fairly new. Uh, 2002. And then the special Newsweek, Elvis, and that was 2016. Then we've got this. This is on a thicker, oh, that is thick. Card stock. I guess that was like a card you could send. It's got a great picture. So that's a thicker one. This is a 
um, like laminated picture. And then, oh, this is a big one. The poster book. This thing is huge. Absolutely huge. Oh, look at that. So that's got all kinds of fun ooh, posters from his movies, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Let's put those over there. And then I have some life Let's see, we've got some Life magazines. This is 1972. The Middle Age Children, or Middle Age Child, 6 to 12, so 1972. We've got, oh, some Ebony magazines. This is 1967. Oh, love those fashions. Of course, pink, love it. She looks awesome. This is 1972 Ebony Life Magazine, 1972 uh, POW Wife. Ebony, 1973. And I don't know who she is. Oh, Freda, Freda Payne. Life Magazine, 1972, Remembering the 50s. Ebony, 1971. A 1967 Life. 1967 Ebony. And that is Diane Carroll and Maurice Chevalier on the cover of that one. Then we've got a JFK Life from uh, 1963. This one is, uh, this one says reprint. The 25 Years Later, this came out in 1988. And then This Life Magazine, 1961, with the Kennedys in Canada. All right, so I am going to move those, and I will be back with, um, yeah, I think the maybe the last batch with the Outstanding Glass and Pottery. Okay, well, I wasn't able to get everything over here, so there will be one more break while I do another switcheroo for items. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with, here, I'm going to move this. Okay, so let's get started with this beautiful pottery bowl. It's got a great texture on the inside. It is on the larger side. It's probably a 12 inch bowl. It does have a signature on it. Really nice texture and glaze on that. Uh, then I have this Fenton hobnail milk glass bowl. Yeah, it was used by a florist or at least had a florist um, stone in it. This is going to take a little work to get that to unstick, uh, but I do think I can bring that back. Now, this is an older piece. It would have had a sticker on it, but that is a really big bowl. So it's worth the extra little bit of work on it because I do think that the extra crimpy edges. I'm double checking them one more time. They are in really good condition. So it's worth putting in a little elbow grease on that one. Uh, now this is a contemporary clock. It is battery operated, but don't you just love the vintage look of this piece? It's pretty awesome. And it does sit nice and far away from the wall with the battery pack in it. 
So um, I am going to put a, a battery in there and make sure. Oh, it's from World Market from 2011. So 2011 World Market. But yeah, I'll put a battery in there and make sure it works. So I'll double check that. Uh, then I've got this beautiful pottery teapot. Uh, let's see. It does say something on the bottom. Let me check on that. Kil Kilkenny Pottery Ireland. Ooh, Kilkenny. So I'll get in close so you can see that. Isn't that a beautiful teapot? So yeah, I love, love these outstanding pottery pieces. Let's see, and then I can move that there, I think. Okay, so this is another standalone piece. Beautifully done. Dark, rich colors on the outside and a white interior. And you can see that that was hand-thrown. It does have a signature on the bottom. And I'll see if that make some sense if I can find who made that. But yeah, that is a beautiful picture. Um, now, this is a set. And um, I do think one piece is missing from the set, but um, it's, it's interesting. It must have been part of maybe a larger set. So there is what appears to be a teapot or coffee pot a sugar, and a creamer. Now there is also one piece here that has an O on it. And I'm wondering if maybe this was an oil, part of an oil and vinegar set. So very possibly. Um, this does have some kind of a mark on the bottom. And again, I'm going to try to try to figure out what that says. I'll look on the other pieces and see. But yeah, I just have the O. I don't have the vinegar, um, if that is an oil and vinegar set. But here is the creamer. Don't you just love that handle? And this is this has a really nice texture to it. But look at that, where they have the wider lines, the narrow lines, and the wider lines. Oh, that is so good. Uh, this one is not marked on the bottom, or it is, if it is, it's very, very faint. Here is the sugar. It does have a spot for a spoon. There is the inside. Uh, no mark on that one. And then here is the tea or coffee pot, and you can see it's got that nice alternating thick and thin line design. And that one does not have a mark either. Beautiful handle. Yeah, this is so nicely made. Love that. And then ooh, I have another little tea or coffee pot. That has a really nice little stamp design in there. But you can see that is hand turned also. Nice little lid on there, and it is it is glazed on the inside. Uh, this one does have a signature on it also. Let's see if I can read what that says. May, oh, handmade in Ireland. All right. So that's another one made in Ireland. Isn't that just gorgeous? So well made, beautiful pieces of pottery. Uh, then I have, this is a Waterford crystal vase. It says it's the Marquis, Waterford Marquis. And I thought I did see, oh yeah, right over here by that little sticker. Let me see if I can get it in the camera. But right there, it does have the Waterford mark. I'm trying to see along with you, but yeah, I think it's right there. So that is, yeah, that is a Waterford crystal vase. Isn't that gorgeous? 
then I've got a couple of little dishes with lids. So this one is made in Italy, and I have no idea why the tape is on the bottom. No idea. I'm going to going to do a little investigating on that and see if I can figure out that mystery, but love the mid-century feel to this one, and it does have all that gold on the outside also. Uh, then I've got this beautiful lidded casserole with that gorgeous floral pattern. And this one, I'm going to take the lid off just to be on the safe side. Uh, let's see. Grace China, made in occupied Japan. And it says Rochelle. So the pattern name must be Rochelle, but that is made in occupied Japan. Absolutely beautiful with that gorgeous pattern on top. Love that. I've got a couple more of those Dealey that I like, the California Pottery, and does it have the sticker? I thought one of these had a sticker. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Right there on the bottom, it does say Dealey Art. These were used as candle holders. There is no doubt both of them were used as candle holders, very possibly outside. So I, again, on these pieces, going to put in a little elbow grease and get them, um, try to get them looking good again. Um, it, you know, they do have a bit of that design where it's supposed to look kind of, um, kind of brushed a bit with a, a darker color, that pink, but not quite as dark as it is. Uh, then I found this beautiful display piece. I don't know what you would hang from here, but man, it's going to be epic. So this is metal. This is glass. And then we've got metal again. So um, no marking on who made this fun piece, but it's a big one. It is really big, but it is gorgeous. Love this piece. All right, so I am going to rearrange things and get the last few pieces over here. All right, here we go, the last few pieces. Um, I did get some jewelry. Uh, I'm just gonna show it a bit like this. Um, these I will be bringing to probably to the morning sales. Um, just some fun bead and um, uh, a couple of them have like little animal prints on them, little animals. So a nice collection of beaded necklaces and oh, there's a little, there's a little turtle in there. There he is. Uh, so this is a party light little candle with that, um, yeah with all of these beautiful pieces on it. There is one little scratch on the base right there, but that wasn't enough of a deal breaker for me, but this is a huge piece, absolutely huge. And you know that's gonna look, uh, let's see, all I've got over here is my little black light. But is that's gonna look gorgeous with some light in it. Um, then I've got, <laughs> now this is another big one. This is huge. Um, I don't even have a ruler here, do I? Oh, here. Let's see. So that party light was 12 inches tall. This one is 12. This one is 15 inches tall, 15 inches tall absolutely gorgeous yellow glass vase. It has an exterior flower on it that is on the outside. It does have one little rough spot right there on the flower, but I mean, come on, how gorgeous is that? It is signed somewhere on here. Oh, right here. 
It is signed by the artist right there on the bottom and dated 2005. But yeah, 15 inches. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, got that sitting down. Uh, then I've got this Amberina Lovely. Now this is a three piece set. So this part comes off and that part comes off and there is a base. Now the base looks like it may have a stress crack in it. I'm gonna double check, get a better view, but it looks like it may have a slight, I can't feel anything, it's all on the interior, uh, but it might have that. There and there is this beautiful piece, which you can see that Amberina is glowing already. That is amazing absolutely amazing and then this piece does have a little chip right here but once it is inside here you don't see it and again you're not going to be able to really see a lot of that amberina glow because I've got all my lights on um, and it's daylight but this thing does have a beautiful glow to it um, yeah, so, I mean, how, how can you resist something that looks this magnificent? And altogether, this one is about 11 inches tall. But yeah, that is a an awesome piece. And then the last piece, which you can kind of see poking out, which is about, I'm going to say, 13 inches, maybe 13 and a half inches, is this vase. And yeah, this is a woman's torso vase done in a zebra print. Let me get my, here, let's get that up just a little bit so you can see. I'll move her back. Here, there we go. Look how fabulous she is. So this is the neck part, the shoulders. That isn't she awesome. Now this is a glass vase. Yep, it is magnificent. Here is the bottom. It is all smoothed and polished. It is a fantastic piece. So a woman's torso, yep. All right, whoo, I know. That was quite a journey to get to the end. Maybe that was one of the reasons why I just didn't quite get it unpacked because it's a lot, but it's a lot of good stuff. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, you will start seeing these pieces popping up um, during my um, live sales. So uh, come and join me. I do have my full schedule up on my homepage on YouTube. It's like right on the top of banner. It does have all of the times of my live sales. So don't forget to click the remind button um, on my live sales. You know, click the notification bell, change it to all so you'll get all the notifications. But it doesn't hurt to go into my thumbnails that I've set up and hit that remind button also so that you will get an extra remind when I go live. And uh, yeah, and then you can join me and we will do a little deeper dive into each of these items and it is going to be fun. Uh, there are so many things. <laughs> So many things, such a huge variety, but it is going to be great. So thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment to be entered into the giveaway. Let me know what your favorite item was. And uh, yeah, I will see you again on Monday, Monday morning, 1130 a.m., for my lunchtime sale, and then Monday evening at 6 p.m. So uh, yeah, so two chances to start seeing this stuff incorporated in. 
But have a great day and I'll see you on Monday. Thank you.